Gun Venture brought to you by Crimson Trace, Sig Sauer, and Double Tap Ammunition. You know, you see a lot of crazy stuff in movies, especially when it comes to gun handling skills. But the movies are getting better. There's some things, though, that we see regularly here and there. The first thing is you see some really crazy stuff when people hold guns. Sometimes you'll see people hold their gun and they'll actually hold their wrist like this when they're shooting, because that might give them some extra stability. Then the other thing you'll see is people turn the gun completely sideways. Heck, they'll sometimes they'll even hold it up above their head. I can't hit stuff with two hands, but it makes it a lot easier with two hands. So if I was gonna hold the gun, I would put two hands on it as often as possible. So from here, makes it a lot easier. But if I do something like this, and I see this sometimes, look at the way that muzzle flips. So put two hands on your gun. Another funny thing that you see in the TV a lot, in movies, is every time the person presents the gun, it racks. It's like a self-racking gun. Now, I see that a lot, but the only way I can really accomplish that is if I have an assistant. A little bit crazy. You know you've seen it. <clears throat> you can step out now. Another common thing that we see that's kind of the opposite of the self-racking gun is the gun that's never chambered, it's never charged. So every time it comes out of the holster, they rack it. If they come into, uh, they run into a bad guy, the gun comes out, they rack it. You know, and it's, I don't understand why these people aren't carrying rounds in the chamber. So if you really wanna do things correctly, make sure that you're carrying your gun fully loaded with a round in the chamber. So when you do present it, it's ready to go and you don't have to worry about racking it. If you've watched enough movies or TV, you've definitely seen the whip with the pistol. Now I gotta, I gotta admit, when I was a little kid and I watched cowboy movies, I thought for sure that when they were shooting and doing this stuff, that that was definitely making the bullets come out faster. I come to find out, that's not the case. Ah! You're probably not gonna hit much. So if I load this up and I try to shoot at that piece of steel and I, and I do a, a whip action like that, I'm not hitting it real well. Even with one hand and no whip, I can get it. So don't whip the bullets out of the barrel. It's not going to make them go faster. So no matter what you've seen in the movies, guns do eventually run out of bullets. There's no such thing as everlasting ammo. If you're gonna carry a gun and you're gonna have a smaller gun like this, you're best to have at least two magazines. Because when you've got a small gun like this, sooner or later, it's gonna run out of bullets. When the slide locks open, take the magazine out, put a fresh one in, and shoot some more. But there's no such thing as guns you don't have to reload. So hopefully this kind of stuff keeps you a lot safer. Carry a spare mag. Have a nice day. Coming up, you're gonna see the type of gun training that stuntmen are getting to get it right when it comes to guns and movies.